and welcome to this third episode in this five part series on the top five mistakes that users make when they are using Illustrator. In this third episode, we'll be talking a little about bringing images into your Illustrator document. If you need to bring in an image, maybe to use it as a template, or maybe you'd like to use a photo as part of your artwork, then you need to bring the image in correctly. There's a couple of ways you can bring images in and we'll take a look at the correct way to avoid any mistakes or unexpected results when it comes time to print using Adobe Illustrator. Let's dive right in. When working in Illustrator, you may want to bring in some photos at some point. You can add photos to your artwork as textures, um, maybe some images in the background, or even just images to use within the layout itself, such as this poster here. As we can see, I have added a bitmap or a Photoshop image of some sand in the background, and I've also included a couple of images for the poster to illustrate what the poster or what the festival is about. Now, when we bring in these Photoshop images into, in, into Illustrator, uh, it's important to consider a couple of things. The first thing is, the resolution and the size of the image. We need to make sure that if this is a document that will be printed, that the images are at 300 pixels per inch. And we also need to make sure that when we bring them in, we either embed those images or we link them. So there is a difference between the two and we'll take a look at that now. So when I'm placing an image, I'll come up to file and then scroll down to place. I can then navigate to an image that I'd like to bring in. So I'll select it. And before I hit place, you'll notice that at the bottom here on the left-hand side, I have a little link button there. Now, if I choose to have that link bu button ticked, it will link the image and not embed the image into the document. So what does that mean? Well, basically a linked image is not embedded and the information is not actually held within the file, within your Illustrator file. So I guess the benefit of that would be it doesn't actually hold too much information within the file. So it's a lower file size in Illustrator, which means Illustrator can work at an optimum speed. However, if you do plan on moving your Illustrator file to a different location on your computer or maybe to a different computer, you need to consider that the images that you've placed within it, if they are linked, will also need to be moved along with the file because they won't be embedded. If you untick link, it will automatically embed the image into the document, which will increase the file size, but it will also ensure that if you move the image across to another location on your computer or to another computer altogether, that you don't need to take the, that image along with your Illustrator file when you're transporting them around. It will be embedded within it. So it's really up to you in terms of how you prefer to work. If you are using large images, then it might be best to link those images um, until the very end of the process. When you do your export, it will then embed them. You can also embed images after they've been linked. So if you bring a linked image in, you can still embed it after the fact. And I'll show you how that's done. If I click on link here and then come across and hit place, it will then generate the preview there. I'm just going to click off to the side here and drag out to drop in this image. Okay, we've got our image in there and as you can see, it has a cross running through the middle of, middle of it, which tells me that this image is linked. It is not embedded within the file. But if I'd like to embed it, what I can do is ensuring that the photo is actually or the image is selected, I can come up to the control panel and you can see there's actually an embed button right there. So when I click on that, it embeds the file and it removes that cross from the middle. So now that file is sitting within this Illustrator document. Now, if I wanted to unembed or relink it, come up and click on the unembed button and that opens up my unembed window. And then I can just choose where that file is located and then save it to relink the file. So hopefully that helps you to understand a little bit between the difference between linking and embedding your images when you're working in Illustrator. I look forward to seeing you in the next Illustrator tutorial. Oh.